good morning. Happy Wednesday. I'm filming today's video on Monday, so I just got to boot camp. You can see that it is pitch dark outside. Boot camp actually starts here in about 10 minutes. I finally got my weights that I ordered off of Amazon and my yoga mat off of Amazon, and it is boot camp total body day. Thank goodness the soreness is gone. It's nice to be able to space my boot camp workouts out so that my body has a little bit of time to recover. Even though I'm going to the gym lifting weights, it's a lot less hard on my body than total body day at boot camp. So we're going to start our day off with a massive, massive workout. I did make my protein coffee this morning and I drank about half of it. I don't ever get it all gone before I come to boot camp, but I'll finish it up after my workout. We'll have some breakfast. We'll start our day. I have a really fun day for you. I have purchased some new products that I'm really excited about that I want to share with you. Lots of good food. We're just going to have a good day. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, because I do a what I eat in a day every Wednesday and I upload five videos per week. Don't forget to check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching, where I offer personalized to you macros and calories. I cannot recommend this enough. This is a great way to know what you should be eating every day to lose weight. And I have one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things. And don't forget, come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. So I'm going to go get sweaty, do this boot camp workout. One hour later. Whew, it was rough today. I'm a little more tired today than I have been. So it was a little bit harder, but I made it through. I'll go ahead and pop up my Apple Watch information here. My average heart rate normally with boot camp is about 150. So it was a little bit lower today. We did a little bit more of a strength type of workout, which it, I actually prefer, but your heart rate just doesn't get as high doing a strength. However, I'll tell you my heart rate came from burpees. We did at least 70 burpees, seven zero. Whew, girl's tired. I'm going to go ahead and finish up my protein coffee. I need to refuel my body with some protein and then we'll put together this morning's breakfast. All right, I'm home from my workout. I'm dressed for the day. I'm going to get together my post-workout BCAAs, start my breakfast for the day. What I'm wearing today is new athletic gear. I'm really excited about, so I'll share that with you guys after we have some breakfast. It's so comfortable, so affordable. I'm really excited to share it with you. So the first thing I'm going to do is mix up, as always, my 6 a.m. run. This is my post-workout supplement. It has BCAAs in it. Really, really helps with muscle recovery so that you're not so sore. And after boot camp, I'm always sore. So I'm going to mix that up in my Lulu lemon bottle, of course. So I'll link this as well as 6 a.m. run with a discount for you. And then for breakfast, I was really craving avocado toast. So we're gonna do avocado toast, but we're going to add to our avocado toast so that we get in some protein. So for the toast, I'm going to use the Dave's Killer Bread Thin Sliced 21 Whole Grain Bread. I love this bread and it's only 70 calories and it has three grams of protein and it's a thin, smaller slice. So it is perfect for avocado toast obviously an avocado. And then for protein, I'm going to fry up my last Gilbert's bourbon apple sausage. I love that these are individually packaged. They're so good. This has 120 calories and 12 grams of protein. So we're going to do sausage and avocado toast and BCAAs for breakfast. So here is my breakfast. I am super excited about this. I have my Gilbert apple bourbon sausage, avocado toast. I have 42 grams of avocado, and then you saw that I put some everything but the bagel. That is my favorite thing on avocado toast. And then I have my 6 a.m. run that I'll sip on post-workout. So I'll go ahead and put points, calories, every protein here on the screen for you. 
mention, I wanted to share with you guys my new activewear. I'm actually wearing a lot of the pieces today and I am loving it. I wore some of this to my workout this morning to really give it a good solid test at boot camp. That is the best test for workout gear. I wanted to make sure that the bras were comfortable, that the leggings didn't slip down, that they were squat proof. I really wanted to put it to the true test and I love it. Like I said, I'm wearing an entire outfit today from Yvette Sports. Yvette Sports is an extremely affordable active wear brand. They have so many great options on their website. Everything from sports bras, leggings, adorable jackets, tennis skirts, tank tops, you name it. If you need athletic wear, Yvette Sports is the place to go. So I wanted to share with you first the outfit that I have on today, and then I'll share with you the other products I picked up. First, this beautiful sports bra that I have on. I love this. This is the Enfold Hollow Out Padded Running Bra. I picked up all my bras in an extra large. I will let you know whether or not they are true to size. Glad that I grabbed the extra large in this bra only because this is a very high support bra. And as you know, I have quite a bit of loose skin on the sides right here so I need a little bit bigger around until we get that remedied so the extra large is perfect I could have sized down to a large but like I said I'm happy that I picked up the extra large like I said this is a high impact sports bra the sweat wicking air holes help you stay dry and comfortable you can enjoy high support and running hit hiking or other gym workouts there's non-removable molded cups adorable criss cut strap your whole panel in the chest which i think adds a really nice feature to the bra that you can even wear it like i have it here under a jacket and kind of wear it as a crop top or as a top scoop neckline cutout detailing sweat wicking fabric hook and eye closure with three different settings so you can make it smaller or bigger and it is a wireless design i really love the little keyhole cutout i think it adds a little bit of sexiness to it and like i said makes it wearable even as a shirt under a jacket and i really like the criss cross design in the back i'm really into fancy designs in the back of my sports bras not to mention that's going to allow a lot of airflow it is the highest impact sports bra that yvette sells so it's going to give you maximum support so i'm wearing the most comfortable adorable leggings. I actually wore these to boot camp today. They are amazing. They do not slip down. They are very, very comfortable. They are squat proof, which I very much appreciate. And these are the Sculpt Medium Waisted Mesh Running Leggings. Now I picked mine up in a size large, which is actually perfect for me. That's normally the size of leggings I wear, either a medium or a large. So I would say that these fit true to size. These leggings help cool you down during the toughest workouts like running, hit, and burpees. Their moisture absorbing mesh fabric can keep you dry while high waist design gives you a nice tight fit. These are high support leggings in the 7 8 length, high waisted fit, supportive waistband. They have this adorable unique mesh panel and a four way stretch. They're a sweat wicking material and again they are the 7 eights inseam. So there is a drawstring here on the leggings. I love that because it allows you to tighten them up or loosen them up based on the fit. So even if you order a size that's too big, you can actually tighten them up with that stretchable band. And it's also great for intense workouts where you can really tighten them up so they stay up while you're doing those HIIT workouts. These are the highest impact leggings that Yvette sells and I love them. You know that my Boot camp workouts are hit workouts. They're very, very intense, and these leggings performed beautifully. And for the price, you can't beat it. Now, this jacket that I'm wearing, mm, 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 I absolutely love this jacket. I love that it has the thumb holes because when I'm going to boot camp at five in the morning when it's 50 degrees, this comes in really handy. It is such a nice quality jacket. This is the Sculpt Slim Fit Running Zip Jacket in steel gray. I got my in a size large. Now this is a form fitting jacket. Normally I wear a medium or large in jackets. I can even sometimes do a small. And as you can see, this definitely is a slim fitting jacket. So you're not going to have a lot of room. If you're looking for something with a little bit more room, I would definitely recommend sizing up. You can feel empowered in the jacket that holds your body for a nice slim fit. Air holes in the back provide airflow, which is one of my favorite features of this jacket. It also really streamlines and thins, slims out your back, which you know is a problem area for me and I can feel that nice breeze through the back which is really comfortable. This is a training jacket that has a body fit, a front zipper, a high neck, side pockets with the zipper which I appreciate and we know I love the thumb holes. So I'm wearing the jacket, the bra, and the leggings today and I am so incredibly comfortable but I have 
three more products to share with you guys. One thing I wanted to point out is all of the bras come in these nice reusable zip top bags. So these are great for travel. I like to use these for wet bathing suits, for dirty clothes. They're a nice high quality reusable bag, which I really appreciate. Now this bra, can we just talk about the color? I absolutely love this kind of greeny yellow color. And you know I love the big strappy design in the back. This is the Power Cross Back Padded Running Bra. This is in the color light yellow and I got it in an extra large. Now this one, also glad that I picked up in an extra large. It does have the three different settings for the closures. I can go to the middle or the end setting as well and it fits perfectly. This is a running sports bra that has a powerful structure that offers firm control. The cross back fits you up to reduce bounce so that your pace can be faster. It has a beautiful V-shaped neck line, air holes in the front, stretchy and sweat wicking fabric, the wide elastic underband, hook and eye closure, and a wireless design. The cups are also removable molded cups. I really like this bra. I love that there's the panel here that allows for some airflow. This is a higher support bra, which is fantastic for running. And I just really, really love the color and love the back. Next up is this beautiful long line bra. bra. Now I love a good long line bra because of the back situation that I have. And this is so cute. This is so comfortable. The material is so incredibly soft that this could be worn even as a crop top. I love the back design of it, how it has the panel across the front, the open back, and again, it has a nice thick band, which is long line, which of course I very much appreciate. This is the Echo Criss Cross Long Yoga Bra. This is dark green and I did get it in the shade extra large. So this sports bra offers gentle support for you with a soft fabric, which feels like a second skin. The Criss Cross design allows flexible stretch and the underband for free movement without slipping. This is great for low impact exercises like yoga, Pilates, and stretching. This is definitely a light support sports bra with a body fit, a scoop neckline, non-removable padding, and non-adjustable straps. The crisscross back, which I love, and the wide and elastic underband, which I also love. Smooth and soft fabric, and it does have a wireless design. So this is one that I wouldn't necessarily wear to boot camp, but this is an everyday sports bra. It is so soft and so comfortable that you could just wear this around the house. You could wear this under your favorite t-shirt or top. I also plan on wearing this for days that I just walk in my neighborhood. You know that I walk two or three days a week, and this is perfect for those low or impact sports. And again, I love the color. I love the strappy design and I really love Yvette's prices. So the last thing I picked up is a brand new product to the Yvette sportswear line. And this is the Sculpt Mesh Panel Tennis Skirt. What I love about this besides how soft the fabric is, how adorable it is with the Yvette logo. There's even a little pocket in the waistband to put your keys. I love the mesh design on the bottom, but I really love that there are shorts underneath. So it is perfect for working out, perfect for tennis, perfect for taking a walk. It is long enough that it covers the majority of my loose skin and it is an easy flattering skirt ready for anything. Thanks to its comfortable inner short with side and tennis ball pockets, high rise fit and sweat wicking four way stretch knit fabric that keeps you cool on and off the court. The hem of the same color mesh panel and waist back zipper design add a little bit more fashion to the skirt. When I go to the gym, sometimes I like to wear a skirt, but I really appreciate the lid, the shorts underneath. And again, if you're a tennis player, a pickleball player, this would be perfect. The quality is so, so nice. And I just, I love everything about it. So that is my Yvette sportswear haul. I do have an amazing discount for you. You can receive 12% off all of your purchases, no minimum order with the discount code JC12, or you can get 15% off all orders over $89 with the discount code JC15. I will go ahead and link everything I bought down below. I'll even list my size for you. I'll link the UK and the US Yvette Sports website, but I love everything. This is seriously so amazingly comfortable. The quality, the quality cannot be beat for the price. So definitely take advantage of the discount and pick up some Yvette sportswear. I'm hungry. 
I'm hungry, I need a morning snack. I've been working on my computer. I do have a coaching call here in a couple hours, so I've been trying to get a lot of work done. These boot camp days, I'm way more hungry. Not to mention, it's right before I'm gonna be starting my cycle, which we know we're extra hungry. So I really wanna focus on protein for a morning snack because I want this to sustain me for a couple more hours until I can have lunch. So I'm going to do one of the Little Baby Bell cheeses. This is that three pack that I picked up from Sam's Club that had the mozzarella, the sharp cheddar, and one other one, the mozzarella one is so good. And then I have the little pre-made, pre-peeled, ready to go hard boiled eggs from Costco. I love these, it makes life so convenient. I mean, they're even packaged up. I put a little bit of salt and pepper on there and they're so good. So I'm gonna do my Baby Bell cheese and a couple of hard boiled eggs for a morning snack. And this should definitely give me enough protein that it'll tide me over to lunch. I was just going to swap everything from my spring summer purse to my a fall winter purse. And I thought this would be the perfect time to share with you my fall and winter purse that I am obsessed with. It is the most beautiful purse I have ever seen. And the quality, the quality is out of this world. It is Italian leather and not the Italian leather price tag, which of course I appreciate. And that is from the brand Teddy Blake. I have another Teddy Blake purse, a smaller one that I shared with you on my channel previously, but I mean, this one screams fall, screams winter. It smells absolutely incredible. And like I said, the quality, the Italian leather quality without the price tag is what made me go ahead and decide to treat myself to the Bella Palmolato 15 inch gold brown by Teddy Blake. The designs of these leather handbags are absolutely dreamy. They have a team of Italian designers from well known luxury brands that create these designer Italian leather handbags. They release new collections every month. So make sure if you're interested, you subscribe on their website and their designers are working diligently to develop new unique designs while also cut, trying to keep the price affordable. It is premium Italian leather so you can enjoy that luxury feel and the smell of real leather as all Teddy Blake handbags are made with luxurious leather from Italy's finest pelletries, dyed and treated to withstand the test of time and maintain a luminous look. These are designed in the same Italian factories as other luxurious brands. And again, you're getting such a great work of art from Teddy Blake without the exorbitant price tag. They are truly made in Italy, respecting the label's history. Teddy Blake bags are characterized by high quality construction, attention to detail, imaginative design, shape, and durability using the same exquisite materials as all luxury brands and never a compromise on quality. Teddy Blake made it possible to offer designer handbags with all the key characteristics of any high-end luxury brand, but removing the thousand to $2,000 price tag, you're going to get luxury every time at a fair price. Best money I could have ever spent. This is a handbag that I will have for years and years and years. And I decided to invest in a larger Teddy Blake bag because I always have my water bottle, my protein bars, my meat sticks, all my snacks in my handbag. Not to mention my husband usually puts things in my bag as well. So the 15 inch bag is absolutely perfect for everything. If you're a mom, if you're someone that carries a lot of stuff in your purse, you're going to love how big the beautiful compartment is along with the two zippered compartments as well. This was my reward for losing weight and taking care of myself. I wanted to have a luxurious handbag without the luxurious handbag price. It would also make a fantastic Christmas gift, an absolutely amazing Christmas gift. Who doesn't want an Italian leather bag for an affordable price? So definitely check out Teddy Blake handbags. Hey, you come here. Oh, show them your bones. Say, I got a bone. I have to show everybody. And I just can't show people. I have to walk off people. He does, like legit, have to walk all over you when he has his bone. Yes, you do. She's a perfect angel. Lola. Hi, honey. She's sitting by me. Oh, Palmer. Get a French Bulldog. It'll be fun, they say. Yeah, that's what they said. I don't know. Diesel, hi, bud. Say, I'm old, so I try to stay away from Palmer. Diesel, come here. No, I pet you. Oh, yes, that's a good boy. Yeah, oh, everybody's here now. So here's my lunch. So this last week, Troy and I barbecued up a whole bunch of meat. 
vegetables, potatoes. I roasted the veggies and potatoes in the oven and we barbecued fish and chicken and steak and burgers so that we had protein on hand. So I'm going to actually have one of the chicken thighs. This is about a little over three ounces of chicken thigh. I have 100 grams of roasted potatoes, some roasted zucchini and yellow squash. And then I'm going to have some raspberries because I haven't had any fruit today. So I'll go ahead and put points, calories, protein here on the screen. So I thought while I ate some lunch, I could tell you guys a little bit about my subscriber meetup that I did in Phoenix this last weekend. So I ended up doing a subscriber meetup in Phoenix. I actually posted about it in my Facebook group back in August so that I could see how, if we could try to get as many people as we could get to the meetup. We ended up having four people come. I had one person who couldn't come because of the hurricane and another that had something come up and wasn't able to make it. But the four of us had an amazing time. So my friend Susan came from New York, Lois from Washington State, Robin and Lorraine came from San Diego. We had such an amazing time. We went on a walk at a local park that's where we went first when we met up initially. Then we went out for an amazing lunch, came back to the hotel and decided that we would make a quick run to Home Goods because why not? We thought we would do a little bit of shopping. And then we went out to a really nice Mexican restaurant at On the Border Grill, which was actually pretty close to our hotel. So it was really convenient to run over there and have a really good Mexican dinner. And then of course we decided to hit up Crumble Cookies because we were leaving home goods and saw crumble cookies so of course we had to go and both lois and susan had never tried crumble cookies so we went and got cookies for everybody for dessert and then the next day we went to the premium outlet mall and did a ton of shopping it was really amazing to meet up with everybody and to actually put a face with the name that i see on social media and honestly truly we are really good friends all four of us it was such an amazing time that i'm already planning our next meetup we actually had a conversation and i think we're going to do it in San Diego because the weather is great. There's a lot of different things that we can do. I know that I have a lot of subscribers in the San Diego area. It's not too far from me, which makes it nice as well. So I think that'll be our next one. I don't know when it will be, but definitely follow me over on Instagram because I share a lot of photos and things there and my Facebook group. That's where I actually posted the meetup initially. So make sure you're on my Facebook group and over and following me over on Instagram so you don't miss the next one because it was absolutely amazing so thank you to the four of you who came i love you guys and i had such a great time so i just woke up from a little nap i'm exhausted today i don't know what's up i it's probably a mix of boot camp traveling this last weekend and like i said getting ready to start my cycle i'm usually really tired around that time so i decided to take just a little like 10 minute power nap tori should be home any minute from golf and thank goodness he's bringing me a coffee i pre-ordered a coffee at duncan so that i had a little bit of an afternoon pick me up so that i can keep working editing i've got to make dinner tonight still you can see palmer is laying with me taking a nap in between my legs as well but man I'm exhausted. I brought me home a coffee from Duncan. I wanted my old standby, what I used to get all the time there. So I did a medium iced Americano with three of the toasted almond shot at sugar-free, two cream. I like two cream instead of three. Three is too much for me. And then I add an extra shot of espresso because I'm tired. Like I said, I just took a nap. So I'm going to sip on my coffee edit a video and then we'll have an afternoon snack. We're being boring today. We're being boring for our afternoon snack. I actually am craving the Chips Ahoy protein powder, but I think that I'm gonna have that for dessert. So I'm gonna do a pretty simple afternoon snack just to get in some protein. I'm gonna do the Oikos Triple Zero Banana Yogurt. I love this one, it is so good. I have a pretty hearty dinner planned and then I wanna do that Chips Ahoy protein shake for dessert tonight. So we're gonna do an Oikos Triple Zero for afternoon snack. So we have a little special treasure that arrived today, our October Bark Box. And I venture to guess that this is gonna be Halloween themed. Oh yeah, oh my gosh, this is so cute. So this is the howl o -ween party. Look at all the fun stuff in here. This is so adorable. So what we're gonna do is I'll show you quickly what's in the bark box. We'll let Troy pick out a toy for Palmer. And then of course we'll give it to Palmer, whatever one Troy picks out. So it looks like we have a couple of babies in here. So we have the sheet faced ghost. Okay, that's really funny. And he's holding the beer. So I, I bet I bet this is the one Troy will pick for Palmer, but it is a fleecy type of material with a little crunchy and a squeak. Somebody's already right here 
Look at this. Excuse me. How do you know? <laughs> he already knows. All right, we're gonna have to make this quick. So we have sheet faced, and then this is really, really cute. This is the Brian. Oh, I know. You gotta be patient. There's one of the B A L L S's in here that Palmer likes with the little nubs on it. This is so cute. And then we have the Ba Ba Biscuit Lamb Recipe Treats. And we have Magic Morsels with Oatmeal and Mixed Berries. Ooh, that sounds good. Lola's actually down here too. They all know. And then another one of the Pumpkin and Honey Treat. So that's actually really cool. We've been getting this every month, but like I said, my dogs really like that. And in the bottom here, it shows you all the other ones that you could have received, like Yakko Lantern. Okay, that's really funny. And then the one that Palmer got, there's a cat, a Dracula, a spooky drink, and then pizza bagools, like pizza bites. This box is seriously so incredibly cute. I'll link it down below with a discount code for you guys. It's the one box that we get for our dogs every month because it's really the biggest bang for your buck. Two treats, two toys, and then a pumpkin stick. So we have to decide which one to give to Palmer. Honey, do you want to give him this one? Sheet faced, the ghost holding a beer. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Or we have Brian, I, excuse me, which has the B-A-L-L -L in the bottom. So which one do you want to give to Palmer? This one with the ball. I thought for sure you'd pick the, the ghost holding a beer, but you want to go with this guy? Do you want to give it to him? He's at my feet here, so, all right, so this one. Oh, excuse me. He's gonna be spending his day trying to get the ball out of there, so let's give it to Palmer. <laughs> You're the most impatient dog. I've, I've, um, excuse me. You sit. You sit. Here you go. Oh, jeez. Okay, bye. As usual, every time Palmer gets a new baby, we know he gets the zoomies. Hang on, Diesel Lola. Mommy's gonna give you guys a tea. Oh, there he is! Go, 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 go! Palmer, Palmer, can you show Daddy a new baby? No? Okay. All right, Lola Diesel, come on. You guys know you guys get to share the pumpkin, pumpkin and honeys. Oh, you wanna share the pumpkin and honeys? Here's what that pumpkin honey stick looks like. Here you go, Diesel. Lola. Oh, did you abandon your new baby? For just a minute. And there you go, turd. All right, let's put the rest of them up. I'm sure he'll be off and running again. So I'm putting together kind of a random dinner. I'm having things that sound good to me. So I'm going to make a wrap using the Just Bare breaded chicken nuggets. I really, really like these. You can have three ounces or 84 grams for 160 calories and 16 grams of protein. So I'm actually gonna weigh out a serving and put them into my air fryer, get them nice and crispy. And then I have those flaxseed wraps that I hauled in my massive grocery haul from the Guaro brand, Garo brand. They're actually really, really good. And I'm going to do kind of a spin on the Chick-fil-A sandwich that has the pickles on there. So I'm going to add some of the sugar-free bread and butter chips. I've never tried these so I'm excited to try those out and then we'll add a little bit of mayonnaise so we make a chicken like a fried chicken but air fried chicken wrap and then I want to try the garlic and herb feta dip and I'm going to use some mini cucumbers so I'm going to dip some cucumbers in the dip and that's gonna be my dinner so let's get our chicken nuggets going and start assembling the wrap So that's 83 grams. So I added my wrap to my plate. I'm going to do one tablespoon of mayonnaise, which is 15 grams. Spread that on my wrap. It says one serving is 28 grams or five of these bread and butter chips. So there's five and that's 29 grams, so that is perfect. I'm going to measure out 28 grams of the dip. Hey, that's 29, that was pretty good. So 
So here is my dinner. So this is my wrap. It looks so good. I'm just going to roll that up and make it just like a fried chicken wrap. And then I have my cucumbers and my couple tablespoons of dip. So I'll go ahead and put points, calories, protein here on the screen. I'm about to go remove my makeup and get ready for bed. I am so incredibly tired. This last weekend with my meetup was amazing, but I'm still recovering. I feel like I'm still recovering from a little getaway. Who else needs a vacation from their vacation? Because that is 100% me. So I'm going to go ahead and remove my makeup, brush my teeth, do my skincare, get ready for bed. And it reminded me to give you guys an update on the oral cheese electric toothbrush. I had shared this in a video quite a while ago and actually have received a lot of questions on whether or not this compares to the Sonicare. Is this more affordable? Do I like this better? What are the benefits of this over the Sonicare? Well, I've been using this now for a few months and I love it. I'm obsessed with the color, the quality. I love the multiple cleaning modes of this. Most electric toothbrushes have one or two cleaning modes. This has several cleaning modes, but what I love most about this, well, one of the things is it has a three-year warranty. If failure occurs within two years from the date of purchase, they will give you a free replacement. If failure occurs within two to three years from the date of purchase, you can enjoy free repair during the effective warranty period. And the other thing I love about this is you actually can take part in their cheese care program, which provides two free replacement brush heads. You actually can get the replacement heads for free. You know how expensive electric toothbrush replacement heads are. And by being part of their cheese community, you actually can receive the replacement heads for free. So yes, I love this. This is the toothbrush I use every night. I take it traveling with me. The travel bag of this has been a game changer. It holds the toothbrush, a brush head, the charging cord, and it comes in this cute little color match pouch. It also comes with all the different brush heads for different types of cleaning, including charcoal cleaning, gum cleaning, and a little bit more aggressive plaque preventing cleaning. So I can't recommend the Oral Cheese brand enough, and I will put this down in the description box for you with a 15% off discount. You can actually buy two of these with the discount for almost the same price as one of other electric toothbrushes. So I do really, really love it. I highly recommend it. So for those of you asking and interested, definitely pick it up. And again, this would make a fantastic Christmas gift. joining me for today's What I Eat in a Day on WW. I loved having you guys come along with me today. I was able to share some new of my, some new favorite products, all my food throughout the day, an amazing, amazing dinner recipe. Palmer got his bark box while the dogs got their bark box. What could be better? I will link everything down below for you, all the products that I shared with you today, my nutrition coaching website where you can pick up personalized macros and calories, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching, links and discounts to my other favorite things and my Facebook group. If you're not part of my Facebook group, come join us there. I'm very active on there and it's a great way to ask questions and get support. So of course, if you enjoyed today's What I Eat in a Day, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not. I'd love to have you here and I'll see you in Friday's Weigh-In. Bye!